That ending though. Yo, that ending of Mortal Toad Naruto Next Generations episode 132. Jiraiya, bro. Like, you gotta think for a moment, you know. You can say, not, you know, he's a jokester. Jiraiya is a perv. You can say all of that stuff, but never count out and never underestimate one of the three legendary Sonic, okay? And there's a reason why he got that title, okay? This arc, I ain't gonna lie, it has been a roller coaster ride of emotion from one thing to another, but I can't stress that ending. Like, Sasuke, is that you, fam? Like, yo, let's talk about it. No matter how you move, get it done. No matter how you move, get it done. That's right, people, we were graced with another very entertaining and emotional episode of Boruto's boyhood arc this week. This time around we got a little more with training with Boruto and Naruto. We got Jiraiya there really getting an idea of what's going on. We got Sasuke trying to uh I guess do the right thing for once you know or not for once because obviously he's done the right thing after a while but you know seeing naruto suffering and, and really deciding you know what i gotta try and, and, and be an og because it comes to a point in time where you know you could be a rebel with a cause without a cause whatever but after a certain point you gotta start taking on the mantle of leading you know the youth and obviously this is a past version of his best friend and all of that stuff but nevertheless i think it got to a point where sasuke is like yo I can't hold back no more, but let's take it a little bit back. Because this episode, a lot of it was Jiraiya trying to have Boruto and Naruto work together to sync their chakras. And to be honest with you, it seems as though this was inspired e even more so from the Lost Tower movie. Now, in case you don't know about the Naruto Shippuden Lost Tower film, that was the fourth film I want to say of the franchise. It's where Naruto went back in time and met Minato. Uh, I don't, and was his mom there? I'm not sure. I can't remember. If it was, but I want to say, yeah, his mom was there as well. This is before the Road to Ninja thing where it was like an alternate reality that Naruto's parents never died. Uh, and there was a Rasengan that Naruto and Minato used together. And it seemed as though in this episode, Jiraiya is training them to do just that because we see when they're putting their hands together and everything, it looks like they're trying to create one big Rasengan together. Now, I gotta be honest with you. I'm kind of split on Jiraiya having them train in general just because you gotta think, and maybe Jiraiya isn't hip to just how astronomically strong this Otsutsuki clan is and this guy Urashiki just how strong he's supposed to be and how strong Boruto and Sasuke are because if you think about it how much training no matter what these two little Ganin, uh, these two youngins, shall I say, because Jiraiya obviously is still to a certain degree unaware of who Boruto really is, you know, his uh, rank, even though a lot of people say, Ganin don't mean nothing, Naruto, yada, yada. But the point being is that this is still a very, very weaker version of the character Naruto. And of course, Boruto is still nowhere near where he would be to be able to take out Urashiki. So part of me is like, this is cool, this is awesome, it's good for character development for Boruto, and we got a couple of cool scenes in it, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, no matter how much these two train until Urashiki returns, that ain't gonna do much, fam. They're nowhere near even close being able to do scrap against Urashiki, just saying. And that's that, you know, I don't really rock with the character, but come on, that's an Otsutsuki. Like, really, what are they gonna do? But again, there's the excuse that Jiraiya just doesn't really know the magnitude of what they're up against. And I also gotta say, like, I understand it, right? I get it why Boruto was the way he was this episode with Naruto. Like, a couple of times he freaked out when Naruto would reach out to him or whatever. He keeps getting flashbacks. It's like, dude got PTSD from, you know, the last episode or so where Naruto went one tail and lost it and scratched his hand. But I was just thinking to myself, damn, like... You never really got your ass whipped as a child from your father, have you? No, it, it just kind of, to be honest with you, it made me look a little bit at Boruto as like, you're kind of being a little bit of a brat, a little bit of an a-hole. Like, I get it. Like, you, you were taken back and maybe you've never really been injured like that. I mean, I can't really remember how many butt whippings he's taken in the series up until this point. But, you know, he got his hand scratched. And that's your father, the past version of your father. Like, I think maybe the, the biggest argument you can have for why Boruto was just acting so damn scared of him is he never seen his father act like that. He never knew the the extent of what his father really has in him with the QB chakra and Karama and everything like especially this is Karama back then before he was a lot better of a person and all that stuff so yeah it probably took him back but throughout the whole episode I'm just like 
Really, fam? Like, you destroying this kid's feelings right now, and that's supposed to be your dad in the future. Stop it. Then we get the heartwarming scene where Boruto really gets to have a moment with Neji. And, you know, Neji just kind of recounting of a lot of Naruto's upbringing and, you know, the, the battle that they had. Again, I think that this is all really good, and I hope they stick with it even in future arcs i hope we get some type of reference back to this arc good character development for boruto like in order to conquer the future and make sure the future is good you gotta understand the past because if not history will repeat itself so i think to a certain degree boruto having that momu and neji which awesome stuff because at the end of the day that's his deceased uncle that he never even got to meet so having that moment is one of the treats that to be honest with you when this arc was announced i really wanted to see there's a couple other moments which we still haven't got yet but in particular i feel like check mark we got one off the list we got to have a really nice good moment with boruto and neji and of course he had just seen neji training with hinata so he gets to understand like oh so my mother was really close with him it wasn't just like they were relatives of some sort like she actually really rocked with him despite everything and kind of just getting a little bit more of something that i had said i wanted to see more of the Hyuga lineage of like you know boruto really doesn't express at the very least that he's uh that in tune with it he's more so like you know okay i mean at the end of the day he doesn't really care about his uzumaki lineage either he's just like whatever but i think it was good for boruto's character it was a dope moment maybe a little sad i ain't gonna lie because of the whole thing of uh neji being a part of the branch side of the family and not the main family but you know i think that gave some perspective to boruto that his mother despite being of a higher rank in the hugo family still called him big bro neji i think it was a humbling experience for boruto to see again where everything started where he could have been like you know had he been born uh, at a different time period and in different circumstances he might have gone through the same thing it, there was a possibility you know what i'm saying he could have been dealing with that same destiny and that same fate that neji felt he was strangled by and just getting to hear neji just break it down to him of how you know things can change and of course again how his father was just so amazing and changed him i think it was good for boruto it was definitely dope like minus the fact that i'm not gonna lie throughout the episode i kind of wanted to slap him up a little bit like fam Stop being like that with Naruto. He couldn't help it. Like, what's wrong with you? But I get it. And just seeing, like, yo, it's crazy. Never in a million years would I have thought I, I would be able to see Jiraiya training Boruto. Like, he trained the whole family. He trained Minato. He trained Naruto. Now he's training Boruto. Like, that's a really nice little thing that this arc provided. Like, this arc, I feel as though it's just been so strong with everything that it's given. Minus, like, okay, Udashiki is trash. And he's still, like, what are you doing, fam? You should have already conquered all of this right now. Like, Ooh, okay whatever and of course the fact that a lot of people keep on harping and maybe i'll address it in another video of just how weak sasuke was looking obviously this episode we really didn't get combat so can't really talk about it per se of what he did in this one but a lot of people have been like yo what's going on with sasuke but aside from those couple of elements this arc has been really really strong with delivering good moments and again hopefully good character development for boruto and even to a certain degree sasuke because we see in this one naruto's really down in the dumps you know what i'm saying like on top of the fact of the way boruto is treating him and kind of like you know they had that break of they in the middle of training and like he just had to get away from him or whatever and of course it's heavy on his heart because sasuke just left the village not that long ago so sasuke seeing again some of the repercussions of his past actions it, it allowed him now to address things that yeah he addressed it of course at the end of shifuden or whatever but to be able to kind of talk to a past version of somebody that you really wronged i felt that that was a dope moment i felt as though it was cool to see sasuke truly not only did he do this of course in the naruto you know the boruto naruto the movie stuff but embracing being like some sort of older wiser person a sensei of a sort and you know being able to give naruto the comparison even though naruto so dense he doesn't realize he's talking about you he's basically like you you don't see what's going on but okay you you know your best friend is right there a little older but hey it's time travel who really would expect that he'd be there right and then like i started off the beginning of this video jiraiya because throughout the episode it, it was giving hints that jiraiya is not dumb that he understands something is up because he even mentions the world to like oh you know how to do the rasengan right yeah like you know so sink your energies and this and that like again in this world in this time period very few have been able to do the rasengan it's been passed down from a few people but aside from them nobody knows it so again you know it, it doesn't take a rocket science on top of that he's the legendary signing bro he's been through some stuff okay to see whiskered blonde haired knows rasengan showed up with somebody that looks like sasuke when he goes at the end of the episode and says huh you know i knew you weren't no uh traveling performers but 
Are you Sasuke Uchiha and Sasuke's reaction? I was like, why does the episode have to end? And that's one of the best things about this arc is every episode, when it ends, I'm like, oh my god, I wish we had 10 more minutes. Just 10 more minutes, baby. Like, leaving off on great cliffhangers that'll leave us really hungry for the next episode. And it sucks because, uh, to my knowledge, I don't think we're getting an episode this coming Sunday because there's some sort of break. I forgot, it's like a sports event or something in Japan. So we won't have an episode this coming week. And I am so bummed about that because... This arc has been amazing. Jiraiya asking the question now, depending on which way it goes, because of course Sasuke could just lie. Jiraiya kind of knows. Jiraiya ain't dumb. Jiraiya knows more or less there's something here, whether maybe again, you know, this whole turtle thing, he might have some knowledge of it, that there's something in this world that can do time travel. And maybe he's kind of piecing it all together little by little, but when he just blatantly, bluntly goes to Sasuke. All right, you Sasuke, right? Like, I was like, yo, and then the episode cuts off. Great way to leave us freaking going crazy for that next episode because it was like, woo, things is getting intense because you always got to keep in mind anything that happens in this arc right now can alter the timeline. Unless they do a Lost Tower wiping the memories, unless they do something like that, all it takes is for Sasuke to say, damn, how did you know? Bam, bam, so much change people's mindsets, Jiraiya's in particular, is going to be different. Like, oh, so Sasuke survives, and that's Naruto's kid, so Naruto's going to survive through all this. So, you know, this could heavily impact, on top of the fact that it already is somewhat impacting, because even if Sasuke says no, even if he says something there, whatever, Jiraiya knows what he knows. Jiraiya's not no, you know, he's not an idiot. He knows what he knows. So, honestly, this episode, even the little moment with Sasuke bumping into Sakura again, kid Sakura, and dropping the letter, which I, I can't remember what that letter was about, but I'm imagining it's going to give some clue to uh, you know what's going on here so I, I'm, I'm really excited for this honestly I'm really really excited to see where this goes amazing episode yet again loved it thankfully very light on the Udashiki was he even in the episode I don't think so but if he was oh well it was very light on it It was like between the Boruto and Naruto moments again Boruto stop being a little sissy like that's your pops from the, you know paths like come on bro just chill out also Jiraiya man this is getting hype. I love it. Kind of curious what you guys think about this though. First of all, favorite moment of the episode. Was it the Boruto and Neji moment? Was it Boruto and Naruto? Or was it Jiraiya straight up going at Sasuke? Like, yo, you Sasuke, right? Like, uh, yo, real thoughts and expectations for episode 133 of Boruto and beyond. I just can't stress how much I'm loving this arc and how much this really has revitalized the Naruto franchise for not only me, but dare I say, honestly, majority of older Naruto fans are tuning back in because it's good it's real good that's all i have for this one though thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed if you liked anything i had to say or enjoyed the video drop me a like i'd greatly appreciate it and if you want more from me make sure to subscribe follow me on twitter instagram hit that bell definitely hit that bell that's the important one to get all notifications of my videos especially when i talk about upcoming boruto stuff or whatever or just the naruto franchise as a whole hit that bell and if you want to follow any of our other social media links of course are in the description below i'm for never world and as always people have an awesome day and remember the golden rule anime and manga for life boy have an awesome day peace in and Jiraiya is awesome! This is changing everything! Let's go! Enjoy the next ride, but I was the best ride!